Hello Augustana, as you can see I'm standing in our sanctuary in front of the Augustana Advent Wreath. Yesterday, November 29th, uh, marks the beginning of another church year with the season of Advent. Advent consists of four Sundays uh, leading up to the celebration of Christmas. Advent is a special season of the church year for a number of reasons. Uh, it is a time of preparation, a time of waiting, as we look forward to the hope and the promise of the birth of Jesus Christ coming into the world. And Advent also points to that time when Christ promises to come again. So you have the immediacy of the celebration of his birth, but also that remembering his promise that he will come again. And so this time in Advent prepares us for two things. The celebration of Christmas, and it reminds us that Christ will come again. There are four Sundays in Advent, and having an Advent wreath, not only in the sanctuary, but also in our homes, is a wonderful, yet simple faith practice that will help you and your family to not only to remember the season, but also to assist in your preparation for the celebration of Christmas. Traditionally, the first candle in an Advent wreath uh, is oftentimes purple, and it's the candle of hope, and uh, it reminds us that Christ is our hope. Uh, our hope and expectation, O oh, Jesus, now appear, as one of my favorite hymns says. And we wait in hope as the weather turns darker and colder at this time of the year, uh, we look for the light of Christ to come into our lives, into our homes, uh, illuminating uh, our lives, warming our hearts, and comforting us with that promise that only Christ can give. So I encourage you to uh, assemble an Advent wreath in your own home. It's a simple thing to do. You just need four candles around the outside, one candle in the middle that you will light on Christmas Eve, and each Sunday, uh, to light one candle and to remember what is happening here in this season of Advent is a meaningful time for your family to uh, get ready and to prepare for Christmas in a way that doesn't take a lot of effort and is not complicated. It is filled with deep meaning. So I encourage you to do that and to uh, use this wonderful tool to prepare for Christmas and the anticipation and the hope and the promise that we have in the coming of Christ into the world. So I commend this practice to you and to your family and may it enrich your devotional, your spiritual, and your family life together. Thank you.